I am so stoked for 2023. It's going to be my favorite year. Yeah, I have, like I said, some of my favorite music coming out. I'm going to be doing some some tour dates with Tracy Lawrence, Joan freaking Jet. I am so thankful I'm in the CMT Next Moon of Country class of 2023. And I have a single coming out top of the year called Place For Me. That is one of my favorite songs ever. Wrote it with Gentle Master, Jason Nix, and Jason Gant. And we have my friend Dylan Marlowe. So when I look back, I never say I took the cap off. Joining me on the song. Another artist that's absolutely crushing it, up and coming, hard worker, incredible songwriter, incredible vocalist, incredible performer. And also just one of the best humans. Like when I was thinking about who to have on this song, he immediately popped in my head because he's so he's so genuine and I just think he's an incredible human. So I'm excited about this song coming out and everyone hearing it. What's up y'all, I'm Dylan Marlowe and uh, we're out here filming this visualizer for Place For Me with Casey Tindall. She sent me the song one day and um, Asked if I'd come and sing on it, and I, it's just a great song. And if that song was pitched to me as an artist, I would have cut it myself. So, of course, I said yes, and uh, she's just awesome. She's badass. She is one of a kind. She's super country, and uh, we get along real good. I can't wait for y'all to hear the rest of the stuff she's got coming for y'all. Y'all be ready for it. It's going to be good. It's got a place up in heaven. My first Chevy's waiting on me. Place for me, I came up with the idea. I was a little drunk, I was up in my room, and I was about to go to sleep, and I was feeling guilty about being drunk. I just randomly thought, I was like, what's the difference between wine and cold beer? Well, if my granddaddy got into heaven, so could I. Like, I was just saying all this crazy stuff. I called Jenna, because I knew we had a right the next day. Casey's a great singer-songwriter. She always comes with an idea. And I was like, hey, I was like, I have this idea. She was like, yeah, let's do it. Even when we wrote Place For Me, she had the idea. She already had the guitar lick going. She doesn't just know what she wants to say. She knows how she wants to say it. So it's always a pleasure to write with her. So we're going to shoot the music video for Place For Me here soon. We just kind of wanted like a simple but still me. So obviously leather. Of course, in Casey fashion, it ended up being super, super redneck. But it's definitely a special song, and I feel like a lot of people are going to be able to relate to this song. I watched her professionalism take over, and all she wants to do is write. All she wants to do is sing another song and, and write another song. It's contagious. One of my favorite parts about music and being in the, in the music community is getting into the community in general. Okay, so tonight you have that event with the press, and this event raises money for the 365 Pediatric Cancer Fund mm. presented by Twice Daily mm -hmm. and it benefits the Monroe Carroll Junior Children's Hospital at Vanderbilt. Love so it. when you get there, the event is actually called like Threads and Pins. So they're going to give you hmm. a bowling shirt. You'll be paired with the team. I love doing events that support different charities. Like last night we did uh, an event with the Predators um, raising money for the Children's Hospital. Sweet! For the kids, baby! I love that. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. Now that's the fun, that's the best part about this job, is doing stuff. I love doing stuff like that, but another thing that's near and dear to my heart is doing anything military and, and first responder. Um, a lot of my family is and was in the military. I even had the bug when I was little that maybe I wanted to do something with nursing in the military. That was just kind of something I maybe thought I wanted to do, but I always thought it was important to serve my country. And obviously I'm not, so I was like, well, how, how can I do that with what I do? Well, it's easy. There's so many opportunities to get involved. I mean, we have an awesome organization here in Nashville called Creative It's, where they write songs with veterans, and they're an incredible organization. And there's a bunch of things like that, but I, I love being in those communities and offering my service in that way. It, it means a lot to me. As soon as I found out we were having a girl. My family was like, Casey, do not only dress a little girl in camouflage. Like this, she is not you, okay? Like she can be girly. And my mom's always like, you're my favorite son. Please just, let's have a daughter, okay? Let's, let's have a girl. I've had the most opportunity since I've gotten pregnant. I, I'm the, at the best point in my career I've ever been since I've been pregnant. I never thought I'd wanna have like pink stuff for her, but like, isn't that so cute? But it did for, you know, for two seconds, it's it's scary because you've heard all the horror stories about women getting pregnant and it, you know, not working out in, in the music business. And I was talking to my management that I have now that is so awesome. 
But then I was like, oh, this is it. They're, they're gonna jump off board right here, this is it. And it was the opposite. All of my team members were like, hell yeah, let's go. And it has been nothing but incredible. I have never been so excited to be like me. Oh, this one? It's so soft, and I don't know what's on her butt, but it's little ruffles. <laughs> Some ruffles. I was home for Thanksgiving. This one family member said, oh, so what are you gonna do now? Go back to nursing? I was like, hell no. Like, I can do this. It might look a little different, but like, I'm not quitting. I'm gonna keep doing exactly what I'm doing. Like, what example would I be setting for my daughter if I just gave up? just because I was having a child. I want her to, when she's faced with something, you know, later on in her life, I want her to be like, no, I'm gonna keep dreaming, I'm gonna keep going. And there's just no plan B for me. Casey's about to bring a little girl into the world. And I personally believe that the world needs more women like Casey Tyndall. And so if she's gonna raise another woman like herself, I think that's a great thing for all of us. I'm sure there's some, some folks out there that are probably like, yeah, this'll, this'll end. It's not that I'm trying to prove them wrong, I'm just literally gonna keep doing what I'm doing. And people are going to be like, oh, okay, can, can do that. We're doing something awesome. The show is going on. I think she's gonna kill it. She thinks she's gonna be an amazing mom. I didn't know until the minute that I found out I was pregnant that it's exactly what I needed. Having babies. You can find me on a barbecue after the ball.